Welcome back runners. If you have missed any previous episodes, they are all linked below. Episode 2 ended with you saving as many crew members as possible as Durandal gave the four access to a previously secure section of the ship. We have also previously reactivated the Marathon's automatic defense system. While the strength of our counterattack has caught the four off guard, they have sent reinforcements and Leela spots more ships landing on the Marathon. This begins Mission 7, Smells Like Napalm, Tastes Like Chicken. In order to delay and disrupt the four reinforcements, Leela plans to depressurize large areas of the Marathon. However, she cannot isolate the correct zones without causing human casualties. So of course, you need to activate some switches, closing the airlock, which will protect the crew while simultaneously hindering the enemy. There are some nice environmental clues throughout this stage. Specifically, you see these little capsules, which I think are like cryopods. These are the people we are protecting. The manual says that some people chose to be put into stasis over long journeys rather than live and work on the marathon. So I think this may represent those who have gone into stasis. Regardless, you need to find and activate two airlocks. As you wind your way through the level to locate the airlock switches, you discover an incredibly cryptic terminal. This terminal seems to describe the rise and fall of empires, but also the concept of a secret organization that influenced the ruling government. Once again, it seems completely unrelated to the story of Marathon, and at this stage you can't make sense of it. But maybe it'll make sense later on. Hmm. As you enter a dead end through one of the tunnels, you hear the click of an elevator. Racing back to the beginning of the map reveals an opening. At the bottom is a flamethrower and a terminal message. It is a message from Durandal. Have a listen. Here I am, sulking about on a ship which used to be my slave, chased by a narrow-minded AI who thinks I'm rampant with only the cybernetic toys of these so-called invaders to play with. And here you are, stuck at the bottom of a hole. How droll. It's really too bad. We could have had so much fun together. Vale. Durandal. So yeah, he denies his rampancy and laments that you are against him as you could have had so much fun together. And to your surprise, if you spend too long down here, you are indeed trapped. Lucky you were too smart for that and got the flamethrower near the terminal and exited right away. After successfully activating the switches, Leela can start the decompression process. She also informs you of the information gathered from the previous saved crew members. The crew confirm that the four were abducting crew members and taking them back to their mothership. We don't know why yet. Leela prepares us for the teleport but cannot guarantee where we will jump to, as she mentions interference in the computer net. We assume this is either Durandal or the Sfit or both. Upon teleporting, this begins Mission 8, Cool Fusion. Leela informs you that there has been a slight lull in the fighting and that she would like to take this opportunity to send a message to Earth. To do so, she needs you to activate a secondary long-range transmitter as the primary transmitter has been destroyed. To activate this transmitter, you will need to enter the landing station of Marathon where some of our weapons will no longer function due to the vacuum of space. So before activating the antenna, Leela provides the coordinates for a new weapon, the Zeus-class fusion pistol that can work in vacuum conditions. Similar to the previous message, Leela cannot confirm the reliability of the coordinates, saying that the transmission has been intercepted, so it may have been tampered with. Thankfully, the information is still accurate and you acquire the fusion pistol, even though it seemed like an ambush. In fact, much of this mission is an ambush, seems like the lull in fighting was a bit of a trap. Before proceeding to the G4 sunbathing landing station where the antenna is located, Lily continues to provide more information about the four which was provided once again by a previously captured crew member. She reveals two additional clans of the four, both of which you have not encountered yet. One is called an Enforcer because they look like a higher rank in four and actually only ever fired on other four, not humans. The second clan which we have not yet encountered is the Hunters. The Hunters fire energy weapons from their shoulders, are heavily armored and take no prisoners. So armed with a fusion pistol, Leela sends us to the G4 sunbathing landing station to activate the antenna so she can warn Earth about the current alien invasion. This begins Mission 9 G4 Sunbathing. Upon landing, Leela predicts some vital information about the four. She predicts that the four must have a faster than light drive as they were able to avoid the Marathon's radar when they entered the Tau Seti system. 
This is the only logical conclusion that Leela can make as the four's mothership is two kilometers long and would be almost impossible to conceal. By the way, this is the first time that the system has been named and confirmed in the actual game. So yes, we are in the Tau Ceti system, which is 12 light years from Earth. Leela is concerned that sending a message to Earth may be futile if the four have a faster than light drive, but believes it's worth attempting anyway. The whole area has suffered damage and is now within a vacuum, so you need to manage your oxygen and make use of the fusion pistol you recently acquired. You fight your way through the landing zone, including your first encounter with a hunter. Eventually, you reach the antenna, clear the enemies, and restore the antenna's capabilities. Upon reaching the extraction terminal, you get one final message from Leela before completing the mission. It reads, You have done well. I have sent a message to Earth. I sent all the information I have on the four, their behavior, their technology. The message will arrive in 92 years. There has been a swift attack on the engineering section. The four have brought in heavier troops, and the security details in that section of the ship are being overrun. The recent lull in the battle must have been an effort at reorganization. We must defeat the four by subterfuge of some sort, as I am afraid we are doomed if we continue to meet them in battle. Their resources appear limitless, and I have reason to believe there may be other four ships in nearby systems. I am sending you to the engineering section to rescue the security detachment. You'll have to clear the area of aliens. Teleport when ready. End message. And with that, that concludes episode three of this marathon lore playthrough. If you want to support the channel but cannot think of a comment, you have the word hunter. As usual, it's been a pleasure. This is Marlin Games. Peace. One. How the flying fuck do you duck and duck and duck and do this? I don't know how to do it. I don't know how to do it. I don't know how to do it. Okay, I got an idea.